Our cavalcade of 90 greats begins with nine official legends of Australian sport, flanked by the stars of tomorrow, our scholarship holders. Firstly, the inaugural female inductee and inaugural female legend, Australian swimming great, Dawn Fraser, together with Australia 2 skipper and chairman of the Sport Australia Hall of Fame, John Bertram. Our two tennis legends, Davis Cup Supremo, Ken Rosewall, and Wimbledon champ, Yvonne Gulligan Corley. Now to two of the football greats, Mr. Football himself, Ron Barassi, and lethal Lee Matthews. John Raper, considered Rugby League's greatest lock forward, and five-time British Open golf winner, Peter Thompson. And our 2012 legend, swimming superstar, Madam Butterfly, Susie O'Neill. Ladies and gents, what an iconic group. Now to our 80 greats. Founder of the Hall of Fame, Gary Daly, with cricket and basketball's Malcolm Speed. 2000 Olympic water polo gold medalist Debbie Watson, with seven time world surfing champ Lane Beachley. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you the greatest lineup of Australian sports royalty ever assembled under one roof. Would you please make them welcome? To see how humble the various members are, that's the thing that strikes me. You and I. The power of sport in this country, people. We literally talked about the whole nation following Bradman and his team in the Depression. Uh, we've proud to support the Sport Australia Hall of Fame since 2009 when we started flying into Melbourne. We share this desire to be the best. That's what uh, athleticism is all about. We want to be the world's best airline. Since being established in 2006, the Sport Australia Hall of Fame Scholarship and Mentoring Program has personally connected the nation's next wave of talented sports people with the icons of Australian sport as their mentors. 20-year-old Tasmanian triathlete Jacob Birdwistle will be mentored by 1984 Olympic heptathlon champion Glenys Nunn Kearns. South Australian pro surfer Taylor Hannock had been paired with her childhood hero, seven-time world surfing champion Lane Beachley. 18-year-old golden lawn bowler Ellen Ryan will have the experience of a lifetime as she spends the next 12 months being mentored by Sport Australia Hall of Fame inaugural female inductee and legend of Australian sport Dawn Fraser. 17-year-old Brisbane diver Georgia Sheen is teaming up with Sydney 2000 beach volleyball gold medalist Matt Cook first female to compete in five Olympic Games. With James Willett with mentor Stan Longanides. Ultimately, this is a wonderful opportunity and a money can't buy opportunity for these athletes. To make the presentation and welcome the first inductee, would you please welcome inaugural female inductee, an official legend of Australian sport and national icon, our Dawn Fraser. Our first inductee tonight is an athlete who has more Paralympic medals in the cabinet than any other Australian female to date. Applause our newest member of the Sport Australia Hall of Fame, Priya Cooper. To, to have been able to come away with that gold and to have more than just, because my mum and my dad travelled to all my games, but to have more than uh, them at the games supporting as well because just the, the atmosphere in the lead up to the games was amazing well, To make the presentation to our second inductee, please make welcome John Nicholson dual world professional sprint cycling champion <laughs> Our second inductee stamped himself into the record books 11 years ago in Athens Ryan Bailey OAM is inducted into the Sport Australia Hall of Fame come from the back, beat him in the first ride, and then for the second one I made him basically think that I wanted the front, when actually I really didn't want the front because I knew he'd beat me. So I, made, I did everything I could to sort of push myself, push myself so that he would think that I wanted the front. He took the front from me and then I just lined him up and again, that's history. Boom. Well done. Please welcome a man who was as talented with the bat as he was with the gloves. Cricketing great, Adam Gilchrist. Well, our next inductee is a man whose name is stamped throughout the cricketing record books. Ladies and gentlemen, Ricky Ponting. 
Um, now, you captained Australia to 48 test victories from 77 matches, which makes you one of the greatest captains Australia's ever had. What I wanted to do when I took over the job was make sure the dressing room was a happy place, creating an environment that everyone felt equal in. But more importantly, from the outside, I wanted to, the, the viewers and the fans to not notice that there'd been a change in leadership. Would you please welcome Olympic gold medalist and five times Olympian and Australia's most successful surf lifesaver, Clint Robinson. Our next inductee epitomises the value of volunteers in sport. Please welcome Helen Brownlee. What's still to do? What's left? What's next? Two things. One, to get equal representation for women at the Olympic Games in all sports in and particularly my sport, and in all events, so that we have equal numbers. And the other thing is that, as you know, I work in Oceania with the women in sport, and I would love to see the Oceania women have enough confidence and um, self-esteem that they can go out and do the work that we're doing together, but without me pushing them. Please welcome the 30th legend of Australian sport, tennis great, Ken Rosewall. Well, in the often unheralded world of sports administration, our next inductee is without peer for his work across two major sports. John O'Neill AO is inducted into the Sport Australia Hall of Fame. Those three years, Stephanie, were um, just the most exciting of my career in a sense. Uh, we had a, a blank canvas. Would you please welcome the 34th legend of Australian sport and eight times Olympic medalist, ladies and gentlemen, Susie O'Neill. With nine Olympic medals to her name, our next inductee shares the record of having won the most Olympic medals with Ian Thorpe. Liesl Jones OAM is inducted into the Sport Australia Hall of Fame. How cool is that when you get presented by your legends? Uh, see, that love was the that first bit. thing I was going to ask you. I love that bit. Susie well, O'Neill, I admired her since I was young, so it's one of the greatest things when you get presented by your absolute heroes. So thank you, Susie. I really appreciate it. We you welcome a man with an unmatched record in representative rugby league. Queensland and Australian captain, winner of eight State of Origin Man of the Match awards, the King, Wally Lewis. <laughs> And in having said that, our next inductee is truly a giant of his game. Tonight we recognise Norm Proven's contribution to sport with his induction into the Sport Australia Hall of Fame. You don't get anything in, in high level sports without a lot of work. You don't get anything back. Uh, but you, you put in the work and it returns. Please welcome a man who dominated his sport on the world stage. Five times MotoGP world champion, Mick Doohan. Our final inductee is a man who has been forever immortalised on his home track. Please welcome Casey Stoner. Is it true what John Bertrand said? Did you really tell him that you didn't think you belonged here? Uh, yes. Well, I'm very happy with my achievements, but I don't believe, you know, I was sort of I suppose I had enough success to, to sort of warrant this, uh, this kind of achievement award, which is, um, you know, something very special to me. Would you just accept that all of us in the room consider you a member of the Hall of Fame? <laughs> Thank you. It gives me great pleasure on behalf of all of your fellow Hall of Fame members and everyone here tonight to officially and warmly welcome you into your Sport Australia Hall of Fame. Congratulations and welcome. Tonight, the outstanding performance of the 2004 Australians men 4x400 metre athletics relay team to win a silver medal at the Athens 2004 Games is recognised with the Team Sport Australia Award. Congratulations, guys. Well done. Throughout our nation's history, there have been many great sporting moments that collectively contribute to a significant thread of the Australian sporting tapestry. The mighty Melbourne cricket ground has been witness to many of these, but none more so 
than Karen McCann's stirring marathon victory at the 2006 Commonwealth Games. Ladies and gentlemen, Judy Hindmarsh, Karen McCann's mother, accepting her certificate for Karen McCann's great sporting moment in our nation's sporting history. Folks, in 2005, the Sport Australia Hall of Fame introduced the Spirit of Sport Award. The raw courage and mateship demonstrated by these two men has earned them jointly the 2015 Spirit of Sport Award. Even though we're competitors, we're still friends, and yeah, it's just kicking in. It's, it's, it's so gnarly, man. And obviously can't be with us here in the room tonight, but we are thrilled to have both of their mothers here with us tonight. Would you please make welcome Mick Fanning's mum, Liz Osborne, and Julian Wilson's mum, Nola Wilson. I stood up and went over to the television and actually wanted to pull him out <laughs> because I was so just so numb that this was actually happening to my son. Fair play, good sportsmanship, integrity and camaraderie at the end of the day are what really count. Widely regarded as Australia's most prestigious contemporary sporting award, the Don, named in honour of the Hall's inaugural inductee, Sir Donald Bradman, is awarded to the athlete or team who, through their performance and example over the past 12 months, have most inspired the nation. In a year Delighted to announce that the winner of the 2015 Don Award is Jason Day. I'm extremely humbled and honoured to win this prestigious award uh, such as the Don Award. Also, I'd like to congratulate the 11 other nominees. What a fantastic year they've had. My mum, Denning, is here tonight to receive the award and I couldn't think of a better person to, to receive the award. She's been Just accepting the Don Award on behalf of her son, Jason Denning Day. Tonight, one member will become the 37th legend of Australian sport, joining this cavalcade of champions. Before... Ladies and gentlemen, the 37th legend of Australian sport, and Sargent. To make the official presentation, Minister Lee and Eddie Had Airways, Patrick Pearce. As the minister mentioned, you're the first netballer, but you're also, uh, when you look at all the legends, you're the first woman from a team sport to be elevated as a legend. As a team player, it doesn't resonate well to be singled out. I'm well aware, and I have teammates in the room, that when you achieve anything, it's standing side by side with them. If you have a good game, you're hoisted up on their shoulders by something they've done. So it doesn't sit well, but I am, having said that, enormously excited and proud and humbled words we've heard all night from our Hall of Fame inductees. I'm most excited though that netball has found the elevation and so it's with great pride that I sort of <laughs> take it on board and a whole range of generations of girls and coaches and administrators just got elevated. <laughs> and congratulations and Liz thank you very much. <laughs> 